Greetings on this third Saturday of the third week of Easter. It's also the Feast of St. Athanasius. And also, uh, this was the date that Leonardo da Vinci died on, in 1519. You probably already know that he painted the Last Supper in the dining room of the Dominican convent when he was 30 years old. And then late in his 70s, he late in his 40s, he painted the Mona Lisa, among the many other skills and abilities that he had. We listen to the scriptures today and the people who were with Jesus were finding him difficult to accept his teachings. Sometimes we might ask ourselves, or Jesus might ask us, so that we can answer to ourselves, do we want to leave? Bishop Ken Utner writes about this as he says that Jesus tells us to do this in memory of me, and that this that he is talking about is a meal celebrated with a group, not a private meal with the Lord. We all need personal prayer with the Lord. But for us who celebrate the Eucharist, when we can, we do it together, not individually, all God's people, older or younger, women or men, poor or rich, straight or gay, bright or simple, liberal or conservative, whatever race, whatever ethnic heritage, we are all God's daughters and sons, indeed, brothers and sisters of one another. A variation on a phrase that we use or hear is, I may not like you or the things that you do or say, but I respect you and I love you as a child of God. Not always so easy, but what we're about. It's interesting, the characters, the rejects, the marginalized folks that Jesus related to, isn't it? Why was this? Because they were open to him. Lord, you have the words that give life. Peter's openness to the Lord enabled God to heal others through him, as we read in the Acts for today. He knew it was God's grace, not his skill. So we embrace the skills, the skill sets that we have, our abilities, but we also know that we do this in memory of Jesus as the family of God, sisters and brothers of one another.